Hey guys, Tartrup here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Eindhoven country. Playing today spawning in the north we've got Kirov with Soviets who's gone for NKVD straight away getting that radio intercept going. Team well with him is Dark Region, also with Soviets who has combined arms, offensive and mechanized support. Opposing them we've got Nima Frosch with OKW who has Elite Armoured. Off for ground forces and Overwatch, and finally Vanguard of Iron Cross. We have a uh, slick. Oh, we've got a uh, armor, egg armor. Man, <laughs> Jim mechanized and blitzkrieg. <laughs> oh, I can talk, title talk. In terms of rankings, both of these are ranged teams. Um, I think allies are 19 at the moment, and Axis are 11. So, very High rank clash here. And three or one though, coming out for Kirov. Gonna counter the Kubel. MG lining up over here. So they're going to be able to sneak through this gap, get a bit of a flank going. Pioneers, maybe spawn coming. He's coming around the long way though. Going to take the heavy cover position. Guys are closing the gap. Oh, combat engineer is getting involved as well. He's really continuing to focus on the machine gun with the flanking conscript, so he didn't switch the focus fire over to the pioneers. Engineers may be hoping for a cheeky decap here, but not fast enough. The uh, squad inside, creating a flamethrower. Catches the Kubel a little bit out in the open. There's a mine there, so Nima trying to bait him in. Don't know if Kirov saw that being planted. He doesn't go for it. Here come the penals. Flamer pops. Looks like he's just going to come forwards to flame the squad out of cover. That's why having some trouble there. Didn't look like the shots were registering. Standing its ground. Green Deer coming around the corner. It's going to go down to a Panzerfaust here. He tries to pop the speed boost. Oh, it's not quite enough. Wow. I thought that would have been the kill, but you've got to remember a few patches back. Uh, a one traded some armor for health. Does make it a bit more resilient to snares like that. He's resilient to small arms. And that saved it there. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. The Kubel comes in and kills it. <laughs> All right. Kubel trying to do some uh, cheeky maneuvering here. Kubel's trying to chase it, trying to get the revenge. And they do. Looks like this penal squad's going to continue on to the VP. Came all the way forwards. Ooh. Got the uh, stem power quite low there. Are losing control of their fuel though, the allies, right now. A bit of a close call on the conscripts. Throughout the incendiary. Oh, the conscript does get wiped over here. models down now. I would guess that was to a rifle grenade. Seeing uh, raw bodies like that. Bit of a late retreat with the combat engineers as well. They do survive, but it was closer than it needed to be. Capping out on the edge. Didn't get any sandbags up while he was capping there though. Oh boy, this green here. Look at that. Hit vet 2. Starting to beat up this conscript, even though conscript had a big health advantage coming into that fight. Rifle nade into the retreat, but the conscript kind of hugged the wall there. 
Interesting. Decent idea from Vanguard of Iron Cross. He's approaching another incendiary grenade. Three females into a sniper now, so he's going to need some PTRSs, Kirov. Not of out, but again, a bit of a late retreat from Dark Region. He has to retreat through the flames as well. A bit of body blocking now from Vanguard of Iron Cross. It looks like it's going to survive all right, though. Interesting. Four retreats. He maybe could have stayed on the field, used some greedy me kits, but he's retreating. No uh, healing at base either. Here comes the 2 2 2, though. Pretty good timing for Vanguard of Iron Cross. You know, good bit of resource harass though from Dark Region. Penals actually prevail. Looks like their mine did trigger at some stage. Took down a few penal models. Let's get back in the way here. There's no squads to merge into the combat engineers. They're not quite as effective with that flamethrower. Have to play a bit more cautiously. T-Gun popping up for Vanguard of Iron Cross. Pretty standard stuff. We have a Zis rolling down for Dark Region here as well. Getting some mines up. He's got two already. No sweeper yet for Vanguard of Iron Cross. Might regret that. Sniper zero kills so far. And here comes the flak half track for Nima. Always a good counter to the penals. The PTR says they do struggle a little bit. Gets the suppression. Doesn't look like either of the Soviet players going for like an early tier 3 out the back either, so. I'm not going to have any light vehicles to counter this. Do you get a volley though coming around the corner with the PTRSs, so keeping the flak on its toes. The AT gun of Dark Region has pushed all the way down here though, so. Not in a position to assist. Doesn't have vision through there, really. Oh, gets the attack round off anyway. Might be able to get the kill now. Another attack ground. Oh, missed. Very close. A bit slow packing out of here as well. Try to go for one more lucky scatter. He's doing pretty well in this fight, but here comes the flak. Oh, throws out a satchel. And then was watching. It's like a four kill so far. It's doing pretty well. Coming in now. But a good awareness from Kirov backs away. Sniper maybe going to come around to assist on the cutoff now. Kirov getting his tier 3 up now. And he's going to build a T70. He's about 40 fuel late though, as we can see, starting this up. So looking pretty good for the Axis right now, off the pressure of their light vehicles. And of course the squad wipes against Dark Region. Kill off the haystacks. Not that easy. He does have a lot of munitions. Could use as this barrage here. Would be more successful, but not pulling the trigger on that. See so there's this really struggling to land these shots on that haystack. Eventually does on the last shot of the conscripts where he had to retreat at that stage. Just doing a good job zoning. Looks like Nima locked into Overwatch to put some Jaeger lights. Go for machine gun next. And now a counter snipe attempt from Vanguard of Iron Cross. He's brought it in onto the other side of the map. That was a horrible was this barrage. Really bad scatter on the first shell. Well, it's just a bit bad, badly targeted, maybe? T70 diving in for the flak. 
Capability has been gonna get a kill on it here. Evacuate. We escape though, got a Faust connecting the 222s two in hot pursuit. TRS is though coming in, 222s two two not gonna last long here. Smoke may be blocking vision for a while on that. T70 switching targets, he goes for a sticky satchel. Oh, abandons. Make sure he polishes off that 222. Greenity is dead to one of those mines. I was worried about that. This is Barrage now from Dark Region coming across. Snipers inching towards each other. It looks like Vanguard did reveal the sniper though, so it's no longer a surprise. Does make it much harder to kill usually. Kills off the wreck. Treats with three PTRS is not going to do much anti infantry wise with the penals. Such bad accuracy on their PTRS as compared to guards. It's infantry. Is their target tables different? They're way worse. <laughs> Conscripts now rotating in. A lot of action, both players from both teams kind of getting stuck in on this left hand side. Start picking a few shots, looks like Nima's going to try to go for a somewhat forwards Shrey. I don't know if it's covering the muni points, a popular one. Oh, good firing line there from the conscripts. Gets a wipe on the full screen on retreat. Well done. So he's sniper being a lot more cautious now with that Aussie sniper lingering. Look at it, it's almost caught up already. Five kills versus the six on the Soviet one. Is he going to fire or is he going to stay hidden here? That's a big question. Soviet sniper's creeping in. Vision though. I'll kill off those sandbags, good idea. Gapping out on the edge. The axes are behind on VPs, I will say that. Sniper so like way out the back here. He's definitely scared about that Osseo sniper. Now the recon plane up for Vanguard of Ancross. Always good for the counter snipes. Revealing the camouflage units. There's a huge edge in the sniper wars. Now he knows that the so his sniper's all the way back here. Also, the sniper can start working on these squads behind cover. Start ripping them up. Got more kills than the Soviet sniper now with it. It's probably been on the field for about half as long. Working nicely here. It's gonna come out of here pin very shortly. Uh, the pin bonuses were gonna expire. Sniper getting all the way in here, but the Soviet sniper retreats. This barrage on the uh, MG34. Pushing it away. Holding up on the Allied fuel. I was having a little bit of trouble breaking through over here. Sniper's bleeding them hard. And look at the KD. Ooh! Really bad stuff there for Dark Region. Kirov doing okay, but he's playing with penals, of course. And he's got a sniper, so. Still not the best. Wow, this has actually been a pretty fast game in terms of command points. is available now. There's a four in the build from Nima. One about to pop out for Vanguard of Iron Cross as well. 34 already on the field for Dark Region, having not gone for any light vehicles himself. Reasonable timing on it. Not, you know, not super fast or anything. The Allies have lost control of their fuel multiple times. Prepared for combat. 
It's a mine over there. No sweeper for a dark region. Maybe he's going to invest in one. Were those S mines? Maybe it was a shoe mine, actually. Because that stern pie was over there earlier. about this, this positioning might have been more successful coming down here second pack on the field now for Vanguard of Iron Cross as well the trays Soviet tank comes out better off though oh I spoke too soon actually took another shot out the back there I'm surprised they had vision around the corner and through crushes the sandbags snipers on opposite ends Kirov just not getting any value out of his sniper since yeah. the sniper has arrived two kills in the last like six minutes or something Some mine with the green ears drops a lot of models to that one. Come out here with the sweeper as well, clearing off a few of these mines. Oh, combat engineers wasting a lot of firing time there. And have to get out. Force coming over, but not going to be fast enough to kill. I didn't notice this, but he picked up a fourth penal at some stage. Kirov, that's very unusual to go for so many. So he's sort of a Zis now, did he? Psytic? He did. This is tier 2. You think if you were going to go for like a late 4th penal, you'd just go for the Commissar instead. from the sniper but if there is a trick with that I, I don't know if I covered it in micro trips tip, tips where you can like exit cover fire the flare then re-enter cover and your snipers only reveal for like a fraction of a second very good if you're worried about getting counter sniped oh no one need to be able to like click on your sniper fast enough and Many snipers won't even be able to aim and shoot on you at the time. Is this in a compromised position? This is the green light for Vanguard of Iron Cross. He's coming in. He's got a command tank rolling up as well. Trying to hold his line, he's got some reinforcements coming in with the merge. The double packs are rolling up on the uh, T-34, oh the Kachusha! Getting some big hits on the Grenadiers. Forcing them away, the packs have rolled up, T-34 getting out of there. Wow, that Pioneer incredibly lucky to survive. All the rockets landing in a circle around it. This retreat path. Maxim getting flanked though. Probing on the edge. T34 for Kirov as well. He has been saving up his munitions. He's got enough for the anti tank overwatch. The Dark Region still hasn't selected his commander. I don't think we're going to see uh, even more anti tank overwatch with the defensive. That's what we've seen a lot from him lately. Careful about being so clumped up with the penals. See if that was a Soviet mine or I guess it was a shoe mine though. It's triggered by that scatter shot. 
Sniper's just gonna man up on the conscripts here. Just pushing all the way in here, wow. Bold move. And what of the sniper in the smoke? Does mean the Vanguard of Line Cross holding strong on the cutoff, doesn't lose control of it. Might lose control of the fuel point though anyway. Do seem like they're on the back foot a bit at the moment. Let's come back a little bit on the KD though. It's probably waiting for a good Katusha barrage that could swing things in favor of the allies. Up the back, going up for the packs, hitting them with a bit of damage. Just gonna kind of run off to the side here. Decent targeting on it. Not incredible though. Not a game-winning barrage. Just from another engineer, more repairs. Barrel fires off another flare. kills on the sniper, not too bad. 15 on the RC1. Another Panzer IV for Vanguard of Iron Cross. He's getting close to the uh, anti-tank loiter now as well. So we could see some big abilities clashing here. How did he drop one? Oh, it must have been right on the edge of the flames. A lot of action going on across the map. And they're still in the lead in terms of victory points. Let's break out. Misses from Dark Regions. ET there. Probably need some more anti-tank now he's up against two Panzer Fours, two packs. I would guess he'll be an SU-85 next from him. She should be uh, ready to fire again here. X is claiming the middle. No sandbags coming up though. Up to bit two now. Some Obers on the field for Nima. He's building a howitzer out the back here now. Goes to the middle. I don't know. That was a strange Katusha. He's doing them from so far back as well. Surely you could come to about here if you wanted to make a barrage like that pretty safely. And uh, speaking of safely. Command tank comes in from the side on hold fire mode. He's two shots to kill the Katusha. Misses the first one. Drops the anti-tank overwatch. Katusha not dodging whatsoever. Drops the anti-tank overwatch. Oh no, that's not the anti-tank overwatch. Oh, it is. Anti-tank overwatch and the anti-tank loiter planes. Oh, T-34 misses a crucial shot. He's out of the circle, though. He's not going to take another plane. The P-4 bounces, though. We're Dark region. Oh, he bounces again. Oh, my goodness. T-34 goes down in the end. Bounces a plenty. He's down. 
control. Maxim also being decreased. And the Zisp. Dark region really getting overwhelmed. Steals the Maxim. Tries to bring in the IL-2, preventing the steal, but it doesn't work. So a Kachushin now from Kirov as well, coming in from the side. Not hitting anything. Dark region definitely getting overwhelmed. He threw an anti-tank grenade over here earlier. I think that T-34 with him. How long survived with all the bouncers would have been able to escape. Thanks for wouldn't have been able to chase it down with their damaged engine. Unfortunately, he had the munitions on him. Not 90% sure. So he takes some big losses to get the oh, 8. Is this got completely destroyed as well? We have really bad. Oh boy, and the sniper did. Maybe got the counter snipes. Oh no. Disaster stations for the Allies. It's gone pear shape for them, even though they're riding high in terms of map control right now. As soon as the Axis push back out. They're way behind. Dark region are about to pop the ISUs. 20 fuel away. Probably squeezing as uh, this in the meantime. P4 is going to come in there hot and try and crush him while he was pinned, but... Up trying to back away. Build on the Panzer IV for Vanguard. Just holding in the uh, capture circle for as long as they can. Gotta be careful. There are a lot of anti tank guns over here, Kirov. Not sure you want to be doing this. He's got a lot of manpower, though, Kirov. Quite a few options. It's low on fuel. Yep. Could maybe put down a muni cache, help his teammate accelerate back towards the uh, tank overwatch. She's rolling in here. She's actually up the back. Not really hitting much though, the allies are best out with their Kachushas. Really hurting them through this phase. Howie coming back the other way. Hasn't hit too much yet. Oh boy. Oh, mine goes off though. T-34 skates away. P-4 might not be so, so successful though because T-34 comes in and mops him up. Okay, that worked out really fortuitously for Kirov. But oh boy, he got hit by a Howie shell and then there are some Shreks there. A Shrek at least. Oh, Vanguard's pushing in. The ISU's in a bit of trouble. Can't believe Dark Region didn't build this earlier. But it looks like uh, they're getting cold feet. Drops his sector assault. So you're going to back into base here. The Panzer Fords are continuing on the warpath though. Feeling bold with the planes protecting them. Not taking, taking any losses yet. Axis with the... Uh, I don't know. They're going for the triple cap but they left the center. They are quite far behind on victory points though, the Axis. They have a lot of repairs to do. No anti-air for the uh, Allies either. Might be worth considering, especially from Kirov. Maybe is uh, maybe it's that anti-sync Overwatch. But yeah, with two Axis players with planes, they need a quad to take care of it. out now. Nice you coming through on AP mode, taking some big hits on these P4s. Here's the Howie. P9 
Evil Blob, though, working well over here. It's on playing up for Vanguard of Iron Cross, providing big long range vision. So far at the back is Reed Rumble, I don't know what he's doing with it. A secure mode action on the far VP. Destroys the building there. I'll try to do some cheeky attack rounds now. Maybe not. Not there it is. Yep. Is this in a good position here for the P4? A shot through as well. It's just coming into the middle of the cap. Now it's the SU-85 out the back from Kirov. Oh, her is coming in as well. Okay, Nima going for the Panther. Definitely the loss of the Panzer IV did cause a halt in the Axis momentum. Now the army sizes have evened out a bit. Here is population limit. Suppose he still hasn't built a uh, mini cache. This is a good Katusha barrage. Just going to the Pios, nearly wiping them. Nearly wiped the conscripts though. Before chasing away the conscripts, going for the edge. 6 kills there for the sniper. Do zero damage there. Is that? Ooh, big Howie shot there from Nima. Bet that Howie, though, not as successful as the one we saw the other day. No, 20 kills by this time. Yeah, they're looking to chase away the Maxim. He popped a sustained fire mode on it. Satchel out. Maybe he's still managed to get the decap off on the edge. P4 is coming in right the way around the corner. Might even catch the uh, quad as it's upgrading here. Maybe he's going to go for a flank on the ISU, we're not sure. There's this will have spotted him now. They're dropping the planes. He is going after the ISU. There's a teeping for there though for a bit of support. ISU getting completely stuck. Planes though going after the T-34. ISU spinning on the spot. Is this getting a few decent hits in? They're dropping the anti-tank overwatch, but maybe this is a little bit late. Smoke on the Zis. ISU does eventually go down, but you can see a T-34 or two falling in return for this. Sink Overwatch getting one of them. Oh, gets the other one as well. Is that vested up? Maybe with the Blitz he could have survived there. Oh! Oh! Plane crash into the base knocks out everything. Unbelievable! Oh boy, Kirov goes for a ram, but I think now the uh, T-34 Rip was blocking the vision, not of the Zist though. Panther does go down. Oh my goodness, so unlucky for Dark Region. It almost never happens these days. Plane crash, three squads wiped because of it. I guess that was a Howie barrage. I don't think it was. Or maybe it was. Maybe it was. No, he's only got five kills there. He had five kills earlier. It couldn't have been. It had to be the plane crash. Ouch. Finally got anti air and it ended up backfiring on him, eh? Sad. Captain's grip's coming around the corner. Nice 
from the uh, dark region there. Might need to pop the Ura here to guarantee this being successful. Yeah, very late though. Very late. <laughs> We're heading out, trying to chase away this machine gun from uh, covering the VP. Next is still about 90 VPs behind. The allies have been doing a pretty good job holding the VPs. In the whole match. Shishu actually coming in. Oh, Kippering the Rakitin. We've got a bad retreat path. Tech Browns catch the SU-85, I think. So the conscripts are forced away here before they could complete the capture. Ooh, big air burst. P4 might have overextended here for Vanguard of Iron Cross, but they're dropping the planes down the axis. They're looking to stay aggressive. And that stops Kira from chasing, I think. You have the quads. Should be able to shoot down a bit faster this time around, though. I've got the recon plane up for Vanguard as well. There's a lot of planes in the air. It will take quite a while for the quad to shoot them all down. Put the Vet 3 off it, though. on the edge. Doing well, though. Let's get the trick shots in. Coming out. Nima. Planes did eventually all get shot down. Didn't really accomplish much with those planes. Sniper. There's a lot of kills on there, Sniper. 83. Shot missed them, I'm not sure. Looks like it went straight through the Panther, right? <laughs> I mean, a visual bug, though. No fucking this. Kills on the Howie. He's using the air burst a bit more. You know, can be kind of useful with the suppression and the blind on vehicles, but well, it often doesn't get as many kills. Really cautious stuff there from the, the Rakitin. Could have hung in there. Too sure though, help him force the retreat. Okay, P4 I think was going to go for another deep dive maneuver, but there's T34 here to meet it this time. Miss from the Zis. Go for a bit of bleed on the green ears. Okay, a nice attempt. Looks like the SU-85 slamming home some big damage on the Panther. Going to be a Brumbia next from Vanguard of Iron Cross. Interesting. Rebuild on the Katusha for Dark Region. Looks like he's given up on the ISU. He's got the T-34s and the Katusha.
Ooh, big damage. Spotted for from the sniper. Gets out of there though. Quick reactions from Dark Region. Nicely done. Bit of a hard time. Get this U85 very strong through this region of the map. Let's take the back, Kachusha. Going after the Storm Maxim. Big body blocking there. Oh my goodness. Just immobile. Couldn't move at all. coming down this one from dark region though 25 missing some shots here from the side finally connecting and the allies are riding high the two of the three vps under their control the, the axis have closed things up to about 20 difference okay, putting a bunker down now Sniper just used for vision at the moment. Is he gonna upgrade? Is this gonna be a medic bunker or like a command bunker? It's a weird position if it's gonna be machine gun. Oh wow, they put a fuel cache out the back here, Kirov. I didn't notice that. A little bit surprised there hasn't been more muni cache. It's still got a thousand manpower in reserve. spamming some of these abilities a bit more on the Soviet side if they had. Our territory is falling into enemy hands. Oh boy, this could be a dead Panzer IV. Smoke. Just 10 grenade, no attack grounds, all the X1. Protected by the uh, command tank, though. Decent attempt, though, from Dark Region. Got all very low. Oh boy, planes down the other side. T-34. Oh, with the last lick of damage, it goes down. And the penal getting wiped as well. Big losses for Kirov. Good thing he's got that was a manpower to rebuild with. Down all sorts of planes. Who's the machine gun? The Brumbier, though, getting in for some big damage. You should deny the middle, though. X is not quite able to set up the triple cap, but they're going to equalize the VP counter very quickly at this rate. So, so it hit three now, though. Fire on it. Bit of uh, air burst out the back. Oh boy, was that a bunker buster? Ooh, just talking about how good that Vet 3 Zis was, and it's not Vet 3 anymore. Planes, but they just all connect with the building. Didn't do anything to the double AT. Bad angle from Dark Region. Okay, coming in here with the T34. Will be trapped though on the on the VP. It's engine damage on the Brumbia. Oh, why didn't he retreat? You already had engine damage. Why didn't you retreat? 
Throws away a squad there. Did survive the booby trap only just though. Chasing away the machine gun. There's not a squad to come over here and cap, but he could use the T-34 secure mode. Looks like he's maybe considering it. He did go for a machine gun bunk over here. That's a strange position for it. I suppose it does shut down the, the most common flanking route, right? He's getting wiped by the Zisp Barrage. That must be it, right? So you can see I have a machine gun camping this angle and then shin down the common flank. He goes into uh, secure mode now. Double ATs are over there. A lot of competition for the victory points. Both teams feeling the heat and they're so low. Site. It's going to bring in to uh, do some shooting though. Double Panthers now for Nima. Recon plane shot down really fast. And here comes the anti tank Overwatch, zoning the Panthers. I'm getting very low, but close to the edge of the circle. Should be fine. Columbia though coming back in. It's going to be the next target. Not base shutting down any further advances. Didn't notice this, but Nima did put down the mechanized truck. Got the repair upgrade on it as well. Anti tank Overwatch nearly annihilated the Bromby on the edge of the circle there. Wow, it was connecting in a big way. The hell he's facing this direction, trying to tear off the machine, and it does. Thought I heard it firing. Oh boy, AT guns out of position. Penal's charging them down. Looking for a double D crew. Gonna get it, but that one's very defensible. This one over here should be destroyed by the allies. Yes, really five comes into assist, but the double Panthers are back. Very fast repairs for Nima. T-34 in a bit of trouble with the Panthers losing range, a bit of a stutter there. A bit of rubber band action. Oh, it's a mine this time around. T-34 might be able to escape because of it. Smoke. It's like difficult. Nice, you misses. He's gonna charge through the smoke though. of the kill. Hulk's dead in the middle. Looks like a Chusha trying to stop the cap. Looks like it's going to force the retreats at least. A bit of air burst out the back though, blinding the T-34. The double Panthers making some plays. This one takes a main gun crit though. From the SU-85, he's trying to blitz it away. Unable to escape. Oh, he got a shot off just before the blind kicked in properly. One more shot though. Oh, survived. Maybe it's an unusual amount of health from the uh, Howie fire. Well, I think it was trying to go out to the edge to contest the VP, but runs into a P4 back there. Unless you switching sides now, maybe hoping to clear off this for a kitten. Switching rounds. Explosive now. Mm. 
kidding? Man, what a troublemaker it is. That's a big hit, sir. Horizon control the VPs again. The axes are down. Good Panzer worth a wipe, though. It's a sniper, though. Where's it going? Retreats. The penal's slow to focus it. Might have been able to wipe it. Damage on the Brumbeer. Oh, Brumbeer one shot. He was pushing right the way in here. Dangerous stuff. Not smart vehicle on the command tank. Smoking. Those do manage to secure the capture though. Now it's going to be the allies back on the drain. Get your shirt downtown. Have the support weapons. Good dodge though from Nima. So you get some big hits and then there's this barrage as well. The suppression, but here comes a panther. He's blitzing, he missed his first shot though, so he's gonna st stop in his tracks. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go get the kill on this. Nope, missed the first shot, can't do that. I think he's slightly above half health as well, so it would have been three shots to kill anyway. Oh, he's used doing some big hits though. burst into the middle but <laughs> I don't know how useful that is allies have got control of that point at the moment so I've got to provide some vision here very handy definitely slowed down the kills on this and now trying to use it more as a vision tool nearly wiping the machine gun thanks to that he's going to take a shot with it yep and he gets it nicely done with that sniper and then escapes Great play from Vanguard of Iron Cross. Both the planes are ready for the Axis. Worth mentioning. Big rocket in action. T-34. Unable to escape. Really good rate of fire. There's this branch coming back the other way. Too slow. P-4s are pushing in. They're dropping the planes. I see you in major trouble. s 85 is a little bit off to the side. They're dropping the anti-sync. Oh, watch. No. Don't have munitions for it. Planes are causing all sorts of carnage. They knock out the Katusha. T-34 is coming back in for the P-4s. They knock out all the P-4s. Oh. Oh. Another T-34 dead. Randy is also dying. Kirov still has a bit to rebuild with. Dark Reason still has a very large army. Wow. That did not go well for Nima at all. And uh, going down so quickly. S-35, I don't know where it's going. It's running into the Rakitin range. But oh, the Zis Barrage. Going to chase them away. d crude though interrupts the uh, Zis Barrage. I don't know, like, who won that really? A lot of losses on both sides. It was looking really good for the Axis at the start, but then they kind of threw away a Panther and a Grenadier. Now Decrew on the pack. Maybe as the dust settles, it's putting in favor of the Allies. Oh, Bunker Buster and Werfer combo. Oh, wipes out the Conscripts out the back as well. Mr. 85 coming in hot. The smoke saving the day. A the capping war here. Chusha going after the uh, machine gun, I thought, but no, going after the middle. The allies are going to try to get the cap off. Still got some team weapons up here for the recrew. 
here i've got two t-34s in the build so even though his army isn't that big yet it's about to be shortly he bounced back massively i think he was at 43 not too long though Reinforcements and rebuilds. He's doing well. Oh, but there's the double raquettes from the side on the SU-85. And they all connect to no escaping SU-85. Dead. Oh, big hit from the ISU there. I'm surprised this didn't go down during that push, but... Still here. Only 18 kills for the howitzer. But here's it it's time to shine, going for the uh, central barrage. Maxim dead there to the flames. And here we go, T-34 heading out to the side, clearing off the machine gun. Oh boy, seems like it's starting to go poorly now for the Axis. Oh, he's really taking control. Maxim is dead at least. All sorts of T-34s. Jaeger lights sneaking around the side. Shusha, whiff for action coming in as well. T-34s coming over here. That's a shoe mine, okay. points for the Axis, not looking good. God does have a large army, he's got a Panther coming out, he's heading out to the T-34 side. We'll be trying to do some work here. The complaint shot down ultra fast, not getting any value out of those anymore. Heading up to Cap, but there's a machine uncovering it now, it's not going to be successful. <laughs> and there we go. Now let's take it. Oh. Well, close fight. Some daring dives, but didn't quite work out right at the end there for the Axis. That double plane attack. The Allies just handled it really well. It was so frantic during that kind of action, but they dodged away effectively. The to ear took care of the planes eventually and they just kept everything alive but as the dust settled maybe it was close to even but then Nima losing the panther over here kind of charging in didn't accomplish much losing the pack and uh, grenadier kind of swung it in favor of the allies maybe they had a bit more resources and reserve to rebuild with as well so they come out on top in the end but just in general I think Throughout the whole match, the Allies uh, had a bit more of a focus on the VPs. And that really helped them out right at the tail end of this match. But yeah, some nice plays from the Allies. Good to see a bit more like mass medium action instead of elephants. A bit more dynamic, a bit more entertaining often. But yeah, the Allies end up taking out. GG. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like, good game to be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next throwing installment. Goodbye and good luck. Well, I'll just stay here for the last 20 seconds so I don't have to re-render this. <laughs>